So Slayers <laughs> uh, just came out this year and just starred Thomas Jane, Cara Hayward, Alan Ackerman, and Abigail Breslin. Um, and this is one I've been actually looking forward to for a fair while, ever since it was announced. I am a big fan of Thomas Jane. He's uh, probably my short list of you know all-time favorite actors um, in some all-time favorite movies like the, the Punisher and everything. So I'll see anything this guy is in, okay? <laughs> um, and obviously I'm a, I'm a big fucking horror fan. I haven't really expressed that too much on TikTok, but horror is my genre, you know, you know so I was naturally drawn to this. Um, now the story is that Thomas Shane plays like an aging vampire hunter with trauma who's, uh, you know, trying to run down certain groups and then there's this, uh, social media, you know, set of, uh, starlets that are drawn to this location. It turns out to be this whole scheme, you know, uh, for the vampires to feed on and essentially that's it. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I guess I wasn't, I wasn't too crazy about this one. Um, now there's a lot of humor in it, both because of the group of, you know, 20 something year old social, social media influencers. Um, so it makes fun, like a lot of, uh, you know, today's current generation, ironically, I am on TikTok talking about it. Um, so it's, I was born in 96, so I think it's meant to be the generation like just after mine, maybe, or maybe it is my generation. <laughs> Either way, um, you know, I, I, I can laugh at that. You know, I found it funny. Some people might have a problem with following people who are just, like, uh, relentlessly annoying and such, you know, major extreme cliches of these things. Um, but I get it, and most of them die, like, horrible, grisly deaths anyway. Um, so I thought it worked okay on that end. It makes fun of, like, a lot of different political sides as well. Like, the whole vampire scheme is, like, this uh, false vaccine, which is actually making the blood cleaner for them to drink. So obviously it's playing on the vaccine thing, but then you have uh, Ivanka Trump being on like a, a kill list, and so it goes both ways. So I don't think it should you know, like piss anyone off really, unless they're going and looking for issues or, or looking to be offended. Um, but yeah, the the ending is rushed. The uh, action is kind of you know just forgettable or hit or hit or miss. And Thomas's Thomas Jane's scenes are kind of. Uh, handful or two and he, he feels like the guest star in his in his headlining movie right but he is the biggest name and that's so why i had to promote him um i did like seeing uh malin ackerman in this who you know, he's done things like watchmen and final girls um Ag abigail breslin i don't know what happened to her um i did i do think cara hayward was fairly good but the movie is overly edited too to kind of fit with the nature so it's intentional but it kind of gets a bit annoying so overall the film was a bit of a eh, 